Well, we are in a part of the, the country that has a tremendous renewable resource in its wind. And we are in a great place to take advantage of that uh, from a, a technology standpoint, from a geography standpoint, and uh, it has helped to put us in a leadership position. Here's the central corridor where the wind blows because of our location. Oklahoma winds are, are very dependable. We, being Oklahoma, we lucked out because we have wind. And, and I can remember growing up um, in northwest Oklahoma when I'd walk outside and, and again the wind would bl be blowing hundreds of miles an hour and I'd think, ugh, this wind. But then you just stop and you think, no. That's jobs, that's prosperity for this state. What I'd like to see for this state is that every citizen can reach their potential. Every citizen can find the job that they want and that, that adds value to their life. And wind is going to be one of those components. It isn't enough just to produce the energy, you have to be able to get it to the consumer. We uh, at OG&E saw the need for additional transmission and we have actually undertaken an initiative to build a new high voltage line from northwest Oklahoma City to Woodward to help facilitate delivery of wind energy. And it will benefit our customers but also the state as well as new developers come to Oklahoma to develop wind projects. product here in, in Oklahoma is a 10 kilowatt wind turbine. It's a 23 foot rotor diameter, typically is installed on top of a 100 or 120 foot tower, and it's sized to power a total electric home. A BMI was placed in Tulsa to serve the wind belt, basically western Oklahoma, western Kansas, uh, the Panhandle of Texas, those areas. So what we do is we ship them straight from here to the, to the, to the wind farms on trucks. We've also been uh, romanced, if you will, by other states, and so we've had an opportunity to look at the cost of production, the labor rates, uh, transportation issues, energy cost issues in some other states, and it always comes back to the fact that there's really no place in the U.S. that you can manufacture cheaper than Oklahoma. We provide trucks, cranes, uh, the lifting services. So we do erection of the wind farms. We also do maintenance on the wind farms. The large components, the, uh, the heights, the challenges of remote locations, the moving from site to site to site. Uh, it's very natural for our company and for people in Oklahoma to go where the work is and to do the work uh, out in the elements, wherever it may be. So the opportunities for our company to diversify from uh, the oil and gas industry to wind is a, a natural fit. Oklahoma will be a leader in, in this area in producing electricity and any manufacturing uh, that would be done here will be, will be able to go to export and compete because of the talents that are here. But the best thing about uh, uh, working here and or building things here in Oklahoma is the quality and stability of the workforce. I've experienced this before. I think the, the workforce here on the whole has a very good work ethic. They want to do a good job. They want to contribute value to what they're doing. It's more than just a paycheck. We have strong families here. People um, have a good work ethic. And the, if you give them a good opportunity and pay them a reasonable wage, they will stick stick with you and do an excellent job. Our workforce adapts well to the challenges uh, of being the best and providing them the tools, of course, to do that and the opportunities. That's what, that's a big reason why uh, being in business in Oklahoma works well, is, is fun for us. There's gonna be all kinds of spin-off companies that look at our area that never would have before. And what our facility can provide is when those specialized companies come in, um, specifically for the wind industry, we'll meet with their company, we'll meet with their leaders, and we'll sit down and say, hey, 
what do your folks, what do your employees need to do? What do they need to know how to do? And then we'll work together with them. It's a partnership. Every time we do a training initiative, it's a partnership between the school and the company. Logistics is very important in our, in our business. Um, the closer we are to the wind belt, the, the, the less they pay to ship our, our towers to market, to where they're erected. We have, uh, we have no problem with, with shipping, uh, being at the uh, uh, juncture of uh, I-40 and I-35, having a, a, a significant airport uh, within 20 miles. Yeah, the dimensions of our product as they leave our plant are challenging, they are. Uh, there are certain routes you can't take, but we do have rail access and we do have barge access too. Tall Support of Catoosa is a 2,000 acre, what I like to refer to as an inland international seaport. The lower transportation costs immediately make us a lot more attractive than those areas without all the modes of transportation. We can handle a great deal of, uh, of iron and steel very inexpensively and that has to be and is of strong interest to the wind industry. If we only sell that raw resource, that is, is wind, we have really only participated at the lowest end of the value chain. Um, not that it's not important, it's, it's critically important, but there are other pieces of the chain that will actually bring greater prosperity to Oklahoma, and that is manufacturing, education, and research and development. So having all of those components here in this state, ready and willing to apply their skills and their expertise to this industry, mean that, that the industry benefits, certainly, but also Oklahoma benefits.